What is up everybody? This is James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, June 26th, 2019. This is your weekly comic book pickups video. Every week, I pick up my boys at least one comic each. Oftentimes it's more than one. I pick up my daughter Gracie one as well, even though she can't read yet. And as always, I pick up my comics at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comics, go check out the shop. Then go two doors down and check out the toy department, the vintage toy store that I'm a part of. All right, let's jump in. This is maybe the biggest stack ever on one of these videos. So grab a snack um, and a drink. I have a drink. I may need to open the cap up here and get a little sip here once in a while. <sighs> right there, because there's so many books. <clears throat> True Believers continues. These are $1 reprints of classic Marvel tales that are sometimes tied into a current event. This time around, they're tying into Spider-Man because Spider-Man Far From Home comes out on Tuesday. Um, next Tuesday. Not like yesterday, but like a week from yesterday, right? First one up is True Believers, Amazing Spider-Man Mysterio. This is a reprint of... I'm going to see if I know what it is before I open it up, and I believe it was issue 13 that, made, uh, that Mysterio made his first appearance. It is issue 13. This is the first appearance of Mysterio. Obviously, Mysterio is in far from home so this makes sense to reprint this issue stan lee author steve ditko artist it's a classic spider-man tale with the first appearance of mysterio and it's only a dollar and they crammed a lot of word balloons in back then a lot of action a lot of word balloons great old comics put that over there got this cord on my seat oh i'm dropping stuff there we go um next up true believers marvel tales t-a-i-l-s pretty funny Starring Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Ham, with Hulk Bunny and Captain America and Goose Rider. Uh, come on, man. This is a dollar, and it's Peter Parker, the spectacular, the spectacular Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Ham. It reprints Marvel Tales, starring Peter Porker, the spectacular Spider-Ham number one. This time around, it's a dollar. I need some action. Tom DeFalco is the writer, and Mark Armstrong is the penciler. If your kids watched Spider-Verse and they liked Spider-Ham, which what kid didn't like Spider-Ham, go to the comic shop this week and get them a $1 Peter Porker Spider-Ham comic book. There's going to be another Spider-Ham comic in here, but it's not a dollar. These are only a dollar. Uh, I bought three of them this time because Gracie is going to see this and wanted it as well, so she got one of those. Gracie actually got three comics today. Here is another one of them, Disney Afternoon Giant, Giant issue number five. This time around, Darkwing Duck, $5.99 for this book. Um, story number one, Darkwing Duck, The Duck Knight Returns, chapter one. Writer Ian Brill, artist James Silvani. And story number two is Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Stranger Danger. Writer Ian Brill, artist Leonel Castellini. I think that sometimes these are reprints of older books. I don't know if this one is as well, but you get a Darkwing Duck story, and then you get a Chippendales Rescue Rangers story. I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot of these Disney Afternoon cartoons come to the Disney streaming service, so I think kids are going to get more and more into Disney Afternoon stuff because these old classic cartoons are great, so I think this book might start picking up once the streaming service starts. Next up is Dick Tracy, issue three for Blaze. This is $3.99 from IDW by Michael Avon Oming, doing the story and art and colors by Taki Soma. Blaze had a few choices today. I let him each get three books. This is one of the books. This is his third pick for books. Um, he's enjoyed the first two. <clears throat> he gave up on Stranger Things, the other Peter Porker thing, a couple other books to get this one. But this was the third choice of the three, so that should be telling you something. It's, I think he enjoys it. I haven't read the first two myself, but it is much more in line with classic Dick Tracy than the previous IDW Dick Tracy series that just happened not too long ago. This is the book that we're all three excited about, all three boys are excited about. Transformers Ghostbusters, number one, $3.99 from IDW by the creative team behind all the great Ghostbusters books from IDW which is Eric Burnham and Danny Schoening. Ectotron is a new toy coming out by uh, Hasbro that crosses over Transformers and Ghostbusters. It's an Ecto-1 that transforms into a robot. And this story is gonna explain where he came from 
It'll cross over the Transformers with the Ghostbusters. There's a sneak preview ash can type deal a few weeks back that got us, our juices flowing already. Uh, this art is great. I love Danny Schoening's stuff on Ghostbusters, and it looks like he can handle the, the Transformers just as well. Star Coastal Starscream, that's really cool. So I got three of these because everybody wanted one of the boys. I think Gracie will probably want one too, but we'll just read her one of ours. Um, so yeah, three copies. There were actually four covers on this book. I got cover A, which looks to be a connecting cover, where it will connect across all the issues. They do that a lot with Ghostbusters, where a miniseries will have a few different covers, one of them will be a connecting cover, where it, all the issues in the miniseries make one picture. Let's get those guys out of the way. Another book for Blaze, The Goon. He loves this book. This is issue number three of the current Goon series by Eric Powell, back at Albatross. Eric Powell does great stuff with the Goon. It's awesome art and fun writing. It's got kind of a horror vibe, but with comedy. It's like kind of like Hellboy, sort of. It's got a Hellboy vibe type of thing to it. But the art is really, really fun on this book. Look at that. And that is $3.99 as well. I don't know if I said that before or not. This is a book for James. X-Men Grand Design, Extinction number two. I have read the first... X-Men miniseries, uh, X-Men Grand Design, from Ed Piscor, who's an independent or like an underground comic artist who's doing all these X-Men Grand Design like two-issue miniseries. This is the third one. And it puts together all the X-Men history into one cohesive story. It's really, really fun. I liked the first one very much. I have to get caught up. They also print it on this... It's not quite newsprint, but it's got sort of a more textured feel to it but it also has this printing that makes it look like old paper and you're going to see what his art's like in a second here his art is very fun there's a lot going on on each page he gets the most out of every page that is really cool so now we're getting into like 90s 80s 90s stories late 80s early 90s so this is a, if this is your era of x-men it might be worth picking up the first two of these they are 5.99 each each series so far has had this kind of split cover and then another cover. Um, I, I'm really excited about this book. This is a book for both me and for Keaton. Wolverine, Exit Wounds, issue one. It's kind of a one-shot deal, I think. And this one is $4.99 by legendary creators Chris Claremont, Salvador La Roca, Scott Eaton, Larry Hama, Sam Keith. I'm not a big Sam Keith fan, except for on the Max. But, yeah, you get... Just some fun Wolverine stuff in here, it looks like. You got some LaRocca art. Chris Claremont's a great writer. Um, that's LaRocca right there. I don't know who that first one was. That might have not been LaRocca. And then you get some Wolverine Venom stuff. And I thought they crossed over before maybe in a comic miniseries. Many years ago. Da -da 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 -da. Logan. I think this is all new st I don't know for sure. I think it's all new stuff. Maybe it's not, though. Maybe it's some reprint stuff. Because I thought Sam Keith had done something with Wolverine and Venom before, but I could be wrong. Um, but you're getting three stories here. Looks like Chris Claremont and LaRocca are together on one. Larry Hama, who just wrote a ton of great Wolverine. And Scott Eaton did the pencils on the first one. And then Logan with Venom and Wolverine is all Sam Keith. We're already at almost nine minutes and I'm still going this one's for Keaton Spider-Man Reptilian Age it's also another one shot there was a lot of Marvel books today to choose from Ralph Macchio artist being Chris Allen colorist Rachel Rosenberg and this just looks like it's a Spider-Man lizard story um $3.99 because I didn't say that I grabbed this one because it just seemed like like I said like a, just a Spider-Man lizard story that Keaton wouldn't have to read a bunch of issues to jump into, and I believe it was just a one-issue miniseries. Yeah, it says the end, so I think it's just a one-shot. Kind of a weird one-shot to just throw out there, but that's cool. Spider-Man and Lizard? All right. This one's for Gracie. This is Spider-Man Annual Presents Peter Porker the Spectacular Spider-Ham. So this is actually a Spider-Man Annual, even though there's no book that's just called Spider-Man right now. So it's an annual for a book that doesn't exist featuring a character that's not this character. That's Marvel for you nowadays. 
So that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's Peter Porker, the spectacular spider hand. So she is going to be excited. Um, this is recap design, Jason, the tour editors. Where's all the writer and artist guys though. Okay. So that's the origin of spider ham. I guess it's going to be multiple stories, maybe or multiple creators. Yeah, that, that seems like that's going to be a fun book to read. So this will be one of those one deals where Gracie gets it, but we all read it. Um, yeah. Phil, Lord Miller. Those are the guys that did the Spider-Verse movie. So I, I guess they're part of this. That's pretty cool. I'm running out of space over here. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Let me kind of clean this up a little bit so I can pan over here after I'm all done. Oh, yeah. Major X number six. This book is for me. I'm a Major X mark now. I'm, I'm excited for every issue. It's ridiculous. It's very 90s. It's got Rob Liefeld covers. Looks like there's a different artist on this issue. Um, I'm loving the 90s vibe of this book. It's a fun read. I have to give Rob, Fli Rob Liefeld credit. He may not be the gr greatest penciler in the world, but he is a, a fun writer. Wait a second. He's back on pencils with this one. Oh, man. That increases the fun, because now I get to look at Rob Liefeld pencils, which are pretty ridiculous. Um, okay, so he that's kind of neat that he bookended the series. He drew, he drew the first issue, and he drew the last issue. Um, Major X is trying to you know save his future. We've got the reveal as to who his mother was last issue. We get the introduction of Old Man Cable in this issue. That's kind of fun. Cable with a big old beard. Look at how ridiculous the scale is. Come on, man. That dude, look how tiny Jean Jean Grey is. She looks like a baby. All right. I, I'm not going to ruin this for myself because I actually do enjoy reading that book. Okay. I'm running out of room over here. Marvel Comics presents, this one's for me, issue number six. Featuring Wolverine, Ghost Rider, and Deadpool. We're still continuing, I believe, the Wolverine story where the demon comes through time. Each, again and again, yeah, part six, Wolverine the Vigil. This is right, written by Charles Soule with penciler Paulo Sequeira. This guy comes through, this demon thing comes through every 10 years or something. And is going to, like, do terrible things, but Wolverine's always there to stop him. And then we've got a Deadpool story. All right. Deadpool next. Hold up, y'all. Yep, Deadpool. And this one's first appearance, Red Hot Rays, featuring Deadpool. This is by Tim Seeley. Okay, I like Tim Seeley. Artist Riley Brown. We got a, a Deadpool story. I, I don't know if this book needed a Deadpool story this early on, honestly. Deadpool's kind of everywhere. I don't know if it needed it. But I am excited about this, Ghost Rider, and it's the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, the 90s Ghost Rider. And this one is by Ed Brisson, who does some of the Uncanny X-Men, I think, or X-Force currently, and Artist Juan Frigera. This is a lot of people's Ghost Rider. They th when they think of Ghost Rider, they think of Danny Ketch, because he was very hot in the 90s, no pun intended. So this is good for a 90s, 90s vibe there. Oh boy, my books are falling all over the place. And last but not least, I went ahead and grabbed an older epic collection that I didn't have yet, Spider-Man No More. By Lee and Romina. This is volume three and features Amazing Spider-Man 39 through 52 and not brand Eck number two and annual three and four and it's $39.99. So this has got some classic John, uh, John Romina, Stan Lee stuff. Um, I'm trying to whittle down all the Amazing Spider-Mans. I, I went through and made a checklist and I don't have them all. I have all of Avengers, all of Fantastic Four, Uncanny X-Men, New Mutants, Wolverine, did I say Avengers? I think Avengers. If I didn't say Avengers, I have Avengers. So I'm whittling down Amazing Spider-Man, and I think I'm going to do Cap and Iron Man after that. So, uh, And that is it. Look at oh, all this. Sorry, I accidentally hit a button on my camera, so it turned off. But tons of books this week. Lots of stuff. If you picked up anything this week, any of this stuff, leave a comment in the comments below. If you enjoy the videos, as always, please click like and subscribe. It always helps the channel uh, find new viewers if you do that kind of stuff. And click notify, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, cool. See you guys next Wednesday. Actually, I'll see you Sunday for the live stream. Anybody wants to show up? It's usually 8.30 Sunday night at... Well, let me start that over. It's usually Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
So if you have time and you want to come by the YouTube channel and get in the live stream and talk about comics and toys and movies and all that stuff, feel free. All right? See you guys. Thank you.